Hello there again, everyone. Jeremy Miller, Pirate Consulting founder and CEO, back with another message for today's Inside the Staffing Business. And today's message is this, you'll never have any closure. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Have you ever been fired or laid off from a job? Uh, this took me uh, until the last couple of years to be able to answer yes. I had a good run and I was fortunate, but not everybody does. And almost all of you out there can answer yes to that question. Have you ever been fired specifically? Um, I've been in the staffing business for 14 years now. And as a recruiter, what happens most often is that if our clients want to let somebody go, they have us message that. That's kind of part of the service that we provide. So I have years and years and years of experience um, being the messenger of letting people go. A lot of times it's over the phone, which is not ideal, but nonetheless, that's necessary. Um, and now running my own organization and prior to this as well, I have experience um, having to let people go as the direct supervisor so I can appreciate both circumstances. Today's topic is specifically revolving around what it feels like to be let go. And the most common thing that I had to deal with as a recruiter was helping people kind of psychologically process being let go. And when you're not the decision maker and you're just the messenger, you end up having a very interesting discussion with people because almost every single time I've had to let somebody go uh, from a project that we're working on or whatever, whether they did something really stupid and utterly deserved it, or it was something that was a little uh, p uh, petty and maybe they didn't deserve it. The same exact conversation was had every single time. And it is them defending their position and not understanding why the decision was made. And they either feel like it was unfair, like it was unjust, uh, it was uncalled for, um, it was too aggressive of a response, that it was somebody else's fault, or all of the above. And sometimes they're right, and that's the terrible part about it. But here's how I would answer those concerns every single time. You will never, never have a good sense of closure about how this ended. You will never get a full level satisfactory answer as to why that decision was made. And even if you feel like you got part of it, it won't explain exactly everything that you want it to explain. So you will walk away feeling bitter, resentful, upset, hurt, or all of the above. And this is just a reality of this situation. And us in the staffing business, we have to deal with this all the time. And it's not fun and we don't want to do it, but it's part of our job. So what can you do? Um, if you can't get a sense of closure, then the only thing you can do is go through the normal stages of grief. You're gonna go through hurt feelings. You're gonna go through feelings of rejected or rejection or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, you'll go through periods of anger. You might go through periods of denial. Uh, you might blame others, whatever it might be. And then eventually you'll come to acceptance. Three months, three years, three decades later or whatever timeline works for you. Unfortunately, you don't get to dictate the timeline. It's almost whatever you need uh, which is not what you'd think it is because you can't really control that. So when something happens to you and either is taken away um, or whatever you want to call it, especially in a career setting, it's very hurtful. And you can feel embarrassed. You can feel humiliated. You can feel like you're being judged unfairly. You can feel like now your old coworkers are talking shit. You can feel like your reputation is being drugged through the mud. You can feel upset that maybe your future employment opportunities are going to be hindered because of this. All of those feelings are going to go through your head. And unfortunately, you're never going to get the sense of closure that you're looking for. It just takes time to process through this and to go through the normal healing process. Um, I wish I had better news. 
Um, and really, if you're in the middle of that right now, that's not helpful, and I totally understand. But if you've been through this before and you've made it to the other end of the rainbow, then you know what I'm talking about because now you feel differently. Um, you've probably had moments where you wanted to write scathing letters to your old boss, rip them on glass door, send things back to them, try and hurt their reputation, or all of the above. But nothing you will do will give you a sense of closure besides context of time, understanding inevitably what your part was to play, and learning the lesson that you needed to learn in order to move forward and be better. So hopefully that is helpful if you're going through this right now because that's a really tough emotional situation. If you've gone through this before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So if it happens to you again, hopefully you can process this in a different manner. But either way, I hope that helps for today. And we will come back again tomorrow with another message for Inside the Staffing Business with Pyra Consulting. You just got done listening to Inside the Staffing Business with Pyra Consulting. Please check us out online via Facebook, LinkedIn, or our website at pyraconsulting.com. That's P-I-R-A consulting.com.